In this video, I'm going to go through the process of adding an asset to Asset Tiger, our asset management program. To start this, you'll need to have set up your account. If you haven't done this yet, no problem. Just click this link and you can learn how to do that. For this example, I'm going to add this new monitor to our database. It's already got its asset tag. As a side note, even if you're not using a scanner, we often recommend just going ahead and getting the barcode on the tag. It's free to add, and if you ever decide to upgrade your system, it'll save you the cost and bother of replacing all your tags. Our system supports barcodes, 2D codes, and QR codes as well. Asset Tiger allows you to input an unlimited amount of assets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add assets one at a time. Click here to see the video on uploading a large amount of assets all at once. From the Asset Tiger dashboard, there are two ways to get to the screen for adding an asset. One is here on the sidebar. The other is here at the top. Either way. The only required fields here are the description and the asset tag ID. I'm going to fill those in now. A quick note, you're welcome to type in your asset tag ID, but a lot of people use a scanner. If you have a USB scanner, just scan the asset tag, and the asset tag ID will be filled in on our system. The rest of the information is optional, but many companies like to keep really detailed records, so you have all these optional fields. An asset tagger can produce reports to help you understand your database. And to make the most of these reports, having a complete file for the asset makes a lot of sense. The category of funding can be really helpful. If you have a fund set aside for a project, or you have a budget earmarked for a particular kind of equipment, you can manage all that right here. For example, if you have a $50,000 fund for equipment to be used for infrastructure, select that fund. Now, this asset will be included in all the reports you create for that fund. One of the major reasons you're using an asset manager is to know the locations of your assets. Use this section to specifically explain where each asset should be found. You set up these designations earlier, but they can always be edited. Just go to the Setup tab on the left, or click New to add a new designation. The monitor will be used in the Brooklyn office, in the main office space. It's in the category of computer equipment to be used by the customer service department. Again, being specific here means that you can make use of all of the optional reports as well. Here you can add a photo. You can either pull one from your own computer or use our file of stock images. I'm going to look through for a picture that looks most like my monitor. There's also a search option if you want to find something specific. Here, this one looks perfect. Another reason that Asset Tiger is the best asset management software available online is this section on depreciation. Add the depreciable cost here, the life of the asset in months, the salvage value of the item if there is one, the date acquired, and then choose the depreciation model that your company uses. Straight line is the most common. When you take the time to add the values for depreciation, you can, with just a few clicks, know the actual value of your collection of assets at that very moment. This can be a huge help for budgeting, and also for taxes and insurance purposes. When you're finished, just select Submit. You'll be taken right to your list of assets. To take a closer look, just click View on the right side. And if you ever need to edit the information, just click Edit up here, and you'll be taken back to the page we were just on. On the bottom of this page, you'll see a variety of tabs to display information and opportunities to add even more. In the Depreciation tab, you'll see not only the graph, but specific numbers telling you the asset's value over time. Now let's say a person needs to check out a monitor for a remote project. Right here under More Actions, click on Check Out. Then simply assign the asset to a person, and then click Check Out. As you can see, the status now says checked out. When Marco returns the item, go back to more actions and choose check in. Click to confirm and the status reads available. And any events like this check in and check out will be here in the events tab. If you want to attach a document like instructions or a warranty, you can do that right here at the documents tab. That way you never have to worry about losing the hard copy of that document. And that's just a few of the dozens of asset management features available on Asset Tiger. Don't hesitate to give us a call or drop us an email if you have a question. We have a large staff of customer service reps who are ready to help. Follow this link on the left here to see ways to contact us.